Atrial fibrillation is not just a condition that manifests in isolation. For some individuals, it closely follows the rhythms of their daily lives, intertwining with their eating habits. This unique pattern where episodes of AFib occur after consuming food illuminates the delicate balance between our heart's rhythm and the act of digestion. The intersection of AFib with the process of eating also sheds light on the role of the vagus nerve, a pivotal element in understanding this phenomenon, as well as guiding us toward appropriate treatments and dietary considerations. The experience of AFib after eating, or postprandial AFib, highlights an aspect of the human body's complexity. The vagus nerve, an essential part of the autonomic nervous system, oversees various unconscious processes, including heart rate regulation and digestion. When we eat, the digestive process can inadvertently activate the vagus nerve, leading to an increased risk of AFib in susceptible individuals. This connection underscores the importance of dietary habits in managing AFib, as certain foods and the act of eating itself can influence the heart's rhythm and exacerbate symptoms. Common dietary triggers for AFib are diverse and can greatly differ from person to person. They include high sodium foods, high sugar foods, caffeinated beverages, alcohol, large meals, and high fat foods. These triggers have the potential to worsen AFib by either impacting the heart's electrical system or increasing its workload. Recognizing and understanding one's specific triggers is vital in effectively managing postprandial AFib. This awareness empowers individuals to navigate their dietary choices in a manner that reduces the likelihood of triggering an AFib episode. In addition to the common triggers for AFib after eating, there are also some lesser known dietary triggers that can contribute to episodes of AFib. One of these triggers is dairy products. Particularly, the tyramine found in some aged cheeses has been known to be a dietary trigger of AFib. Gluten is another potential trigger for AFib after eating. This protein found in wheat, barley, and rye can cause inflammation in the body, including the heart, and potentially trigger an AFib episode. Spicy food is also a possible culprit for triggering AFib after a meal. The capsaicin in spicy foods can irritate the esophagus and cause palpitations or irregular heart rhythms. Lastly, artificial preservatives commonly found in processed foods may also contribute to AFib after eating due to their potential to cause inflammation and disrupt normal heart function. It's important for individuals with AFib to be aware of these lesser known dietary triggers and monitor their intake accordingly to help manage their condition. By identifying and avoiding these common triggers, individuals with AFib can take proactive steps to maintain heart health and potentially reduce the frequency of AFib episodes. Working closely with healthcare providers to develop personalized dietary plans tailored to one's triggers can significantly improve AFib management. Prioritizing a heart-healthy diet and adopting lifestyle changes that mitigate these triggers can contribute to better overall heart function and quality of life for those living with AFib. Vagal AFib, a subtype of atrial fibrillation, merits particular attention. It is distinguished by its timing in relation to vagal nerve activity, often occurring at night or after eating. The underlying mechanisms are complex and not fully understood, but it is believed that an increase in vagal tone, reflecting heightened activity of the vagus nerve, can disrupt the heart's electrical system, leading to AFib. This form of AFib presents unique challenges and underscores the significance of the vagus nerve's role not just in digestion but in heart rhythm regulation as well. Managing AFib, especially when it's related to eating, involves a multifaceted approach that includes both lifestyle modifications and medical interventions. Dietary changes are foundational, requiring individuals to become adept at identifying and avoiding their specific triggers. This might mean moderating the intake of certain foods that trigger symptoms or adjusting the size and frequency of meals to lessen the impact on the vagus nerve. Beyond diet, treatments for AFib range from medications designed to control the heart's radii and rhythm to innovative procedures like catheter ablation. An ablation procedure targets the heart tissue responsible for the irregular signals, offering a potential reduction in the frequency and severity of AFib episodes for many patients. In addition, 
and ablation also frequently targets the pulmonary veins, an area rich in vagal innervation, which can also improve symptoms of AFib after eating. Other lifestyle adjustments also play a crucial role in managing AFib. Regular, moderate exercise can improve heart health, while stress management techniques may help mitigate the vagal response linked to AFib episodes. Achieving and maintaining a healthy weight is another critical factor, as excess weight can elevate the risk of developing AFib. Understanding AFib in the context of eating and the vagus nerve opens a window into the nuanced relationship between our diet, our nervous system, and our heart's rhythm. For those affected, managing this condition requires a careful balancing act, incorporating dietary vigilance, lifestyle changes, and appropriate medical care. Through this comprehensive approach, it is possible to mitigate the impact of postprandial AFib, improving the rhythm of the heart.